who should Dan Hooker fight next? Now, in his post-fight interview after he defeated Mataush Gamrot at UFC 305, he mentioned a fighter, a title, and a situation. Let's go with the fighter first. Conor McGregor was the fighter he mentioned. He's not getting that fight. I don't think he's ever getting that fight. It's possible that Conor McGregor never even fights again. So who knows what his deal is, but Dan Hooker isn't getting that fight. So we can't do that one for him. The BMF title, in the future, maybe. So that's possible. We could do that for him, but that won't be his next fight. So now we're left with the third option, which would be the situation that he laid out, which would be a title eliminator. That's something we can work with. Now the question becomes, who should he fight in that title eliminator? I've seen people online say that the two obvious choices for Hooker's next fight should be either Justin Gaethje or Charles Oliveira. People have said these are the perfect fights because wins over those guys, a former interim champion and a former undisputed champion, a win over one of those two guys would make it clear and obvious that you deserve a title shot. So I understand where people are coming from. I just think a better fight would be Dan Hooker versus Patty Pimblett. Now, people will say, oh, well, Hooker shouldn't fight him. Hooker should fight up in the rankings. Hooker should fight someone like Justin Gaethje or Charles Oliveira or someone like that, someone who's high up in the rankings. Why would he fight back in the rankings? Well, he just fought a guy who did that. Matoush Gamrot was ranked number five in the world, much higher than Dan Hooker. Matoush Gamrot fought back in the rankings. Why can't Dan Hooker do that now. People would be talking about Gamrot fighting for the title next if he beat Hooker, so what difference does it make if Hooker fights back in the rankings against Patty Pimblett? It doesn't matter. If Hooker were to beat Patty the Batty, he would be the clear and obvious number one contender. Who cares about Gaethje or Oliveira? Or, you know, things happen in this sport. Guys get injured. There's a lot of things that can happen in this sport, so Armin and Islam are going to fight for the title next. If Armin were to beat Islam, I would assume, depending on how the fight goes and how it all plays out, that they would do the rubber match next. And that would mean that Hooker would have to wait for a title shot if he were to beat Patty the Batty. So it's still possible that he could fight Patty the Batty, beat Patty the Batty, but then still have to fight someone else. And then that's where Oliveira or Gaethje would fit in. But if things remain the same and Islam Makachev hangs on to the belt, him beating Patty the Batty would get him right to a title shot, regardless of what people think of the rankings and regardless of what people think about Gaethje and Alvera and Hooker and all that stuff. It really doesn't matter. All that matters is Hooker continues to win. And a win over Patty the Batty, in my opinion, just on name value would do as much as a win over Gaethje and Oliveira. Yes, the ranking plays a key part of it, but Patty the Batty is, popularity-wise, amongst hardcore fans on the exact same level as Oliveira and Gaethje. But when it comes to a mainstream audience, Patty the Batty is more popular than all those guys. You know, the guys who don't know the difference between an arm bar and a crow bar. My favorite fighter is Conor McGregor. I started watching fights during Corona. All those fans, Patty the Batty is bigger than Oliveira and Gaethje. A win over Patty the Batty would mean more to those people. The casual, I don't really watch much MMA, I just watch the big UFC fights. Those people, a win over Patty the Batty means a lot more to them than Gaethje and Oliveira, even though Gaethje and Oliveira have done more in this sport than Patty the Batty at this point. But that's the fight the UFC should make. They should have Dan Hooker fight against Patty the Batty. Now, another reason why people would push back on Hooker versus Pimblet is because Patty the Batty is considered still to be a young and up-and-coming fighter, but really he's not that young. He's pushing 30, he's 29 now, probably 
by the time this fight happens, he'll be 30. It depends on when Hooker is able to fight again. If he's able to fight again, he had a lot of cuts in that fight. He took some damage in that fight. So I don't know when he's going to be able to go again. But if it's early next year, Patty the Batty will be 30 years old. So here's a guy 30 years old, 25 fights, has been around for a long time, has been in the UFC since 2021. It's not like he just showed up yesterday and his debut in the UFC was in 2024 against King Green. He's been in the UFC for a while. He's had several UFC fights. So now's the time to test Patty the Batty. If he can beat a guy like Dan Hooker, then he's for real. Then he should be on that short list for who gets the winner of Islam and Armin. If he loses to Dan Hooker, well then Dan Hooker is the clear-cut number one contender and Patty the Batty needs more work. He needs to go back to the drawing board and The perception that fans and media have on who Patty the Batty is and the reality of who this guy is completely don't match up. People think of him as some young 19-year-old kid who burst onto the scene and has a handful of fights. He's married, he's got kids, he's a 30-year-old man. Like, if he can't do it now, if he can't beat Dan Hooker, then he's never going to do it. Dan Hooker came back from the dead. A lot of people have developed a case of amnesia when it comes to this guy. A lot of people have forgotten that he's lost to Islam Makachev. He's been knocked out by Michael Chandler, tried to drop back down to featherweight to try to get some life back into his career, and he was TKO'd by Arnold Allen. So then he came back up to lightweight, and he's looked great. You know, he's on a three-fight win streak, but... People have developed a case of amnesia when it comes to this guy and have forgotten that he's not unbeatable. And this is somebody who, if Patty the Batty were to beat, I wouldn't be surprised. I also wouldn't be surprised if Hooker beat Patty the Batty. I think this is this is kind of in line with King Green. Dan Hooker would be the next step from King Green, in my opinion. Dan Hooker's in this kind of weird spot where... Yes, he's one of the best fighters in the world at 155, but he's also beatable. I think it's the perfect fight to make. I think if Hooker beats Patty the Batty, that will propel him right to a title shot. So what if he's fighting behind in the rankings? He's fighting down the rankings. It doesn't matter. These rankings are all garbage anyways. These rankings are totally flawed, and that's a whole separate video that I'll be doing in the future, so please subscribe so you don't miss that. But I think that the next fight the UFC should make for Dan Hooker should be Patty the Batty. Just based off of, I think, stylistically, it would make for an interesting fight, and I think we're going to find out who's a pretender and who's a contender. If Hooker can beat Patty the Batty, he should get a title shot. If Patty the Batty beats Hooker, you can make a case that he should be fighting for the title, but what most likely will happen is, okay, he goes in there, he beats Dan Hooker, and then he fights one more time, possibly against Justin Gaethje or someone like Charles Oliveira, or who knows, maybe Michael Chandler has finally fought against Conor McGregor and he's coming off a win, maybe, if he beats McGregor. Maybe Patty the Batty fights Michael Chandler in a number one contender fight. Who knows what will happen at that point in time when we get there, but this is definitely the fight to make. So I would like to see Dan Hooker fight against Patty the Batty next. Who do you want to see Dan Hooker fight next? Is it Patty the Batty? Is it Justin Gaethje? Is it Charles Oliveira? Is it someone I didn't even mention in this video? Do you think he should get a title shot right now and just fight the winner of Islam and Armin? Do you think he's done enough right now just to get a title shot and have him just sit out and wait and he just gets the winner of that fight and he doesn't have to fight anyone else? Whoever you think he should fight, let me know in the comment section below and then Like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.